Hey again, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Practical Talk. I am your host, Heather Holloway. And today I'm going to teach you how to grow your list by offering your target audience value. Do y'all remember that photo of that creepy, overly attached girlfriend? You know, the one where she's looking at the camera all doughy eyed, you know, and and kind of a little crazy. She's got those crazy eyes. (laughs) Well, if you show up like that, asking your audience for their information without providing value first, I'm going to tell you what, you look the same way. (laughs) So today I'm going to teach you how to not be the marketing equivalent to the overly attached girlfriend. Why don't we just ask people for their information? Well, we know it's tempting. It's tempting to try and grab an email address or a phone number from people as soon as they interact with our brand. If you're like me back in the day when I was first getting started in business, you feel like hesitating could mean losing the chance to follow up and build a relationship with them. You may even think that the worst that can happen is someone saying no. However, being too pushy can actively harm your relationship with people thinking about exploring your brand even further. The last thing you want to do is turn a prospect off by immediately trying to harvest their contact information without offering anything in return. Contact information is super valuable for the person that's giving it up and for the person that's receiving it. So to gain access to this all-important contact info, you need to exchange something of value with them. And you hear this all the time. The marketing gurus out there are saying, provide value, provide value. But what does that really mean? Well, if you provide value, you protect your reputation and you establish trustworthiness. So that when you go to offer a prospect something, you've offered them something so enticing that they have no reason other than to request that information from you. And the best way to do this is by using a lead magnet. You'll want to create a lead magnet. And here's why. Let's run a scenario here, a simple scenario. Let's say that we are buying a pair of jeans and we're actually, this is going to be weird, we're actually in the store to buy the pair of jeans instead of buying online. If I were to walk up to the counter to pay for my jeans and the associate asks me for my email address for no other reason than than getting my email address, I'm going to be a little annoyed. I'm not going to just hand over that information without getting something in return. But instead, if I walked up to the counter and she's like, hey, you could get 15% off right now if you sign up for our email list or text list or whatever, I'm probably more inclined to oblige. They are giving to get something. So lead magnets are super valuable resources that make it worthwhile for your prospect to hand over their contact information. Invest some time in creating a fantastic assortment of lead magnets, and you'll be amazed at how quickly your traffic leads and conversions increase. Here's a couple winning magnets for your next lead generation campaign. You can provide access to a community. You see this all the time when people go to Facebook groups and you have to put your email address in. That's a great way to offer a community where somebody can get value either from you or the people involved in your community. And in exchange, you ask them for your email address. You can do a quiz or an assessment. Maybe it's a discovery call. Maybe you want to give away a checklist or a cheat sheet, a framework roadmap or guide. You can offer people a challenge. You bring people into a webinar. Uh, maybe you wrote a book or you have an ebook, or perhaps you have a free online course. All of these are tried and true favorites, proven to be powerful incentives for prospects to provide their contact information. However, a lead magnet literally can be anything you want it to be. So think about this. What problems do your prospects have? And how can you offer a solution there? What questions do prospects have about your industry, your service, your product? Think about this. How about a fitness equipment company might offer a free 30-day workout routine with detailed steps as a lead magnet or access to a community of other individuals participating in a workout challenge. A blender company might offer a helpful guide on 10 easy and delicious smoothie recipes you can try at home. When done right, a lead magnet is a concierge for your online sales. So what did we learn today? Don't just ask people for their email addresses. People just simply won't give you their contact information unless they get something in return. So offer something of value in exchange that's worthwhile to your target audience, and you'll take a practical first step towards drawing more clients into your sales funnel. Now, whether you need support creating your first funnel or your 50th, we have solutions to maximize your strategy from start to finish. And you can contact us by using the link in the show notes today. And don't miss out on next week's episode where I teach you about the riches and niches for your small business. Happy posting. 
I'm Heather Holloway, and you've been listening to Practical Talk. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me and my team. Hey, remember, check the show notes for resources and links to other episodes. And don't forget, new episodes are released every Wednesday. Wednesday.